Thanks for being a part of Gents Grove. Please hit the subscribe button. Let's form the Gents community. Your support means a lot to us. Now let's Grove. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Who is a man? And what does it take to be a man in today's world? This question has been asked countless times and yet the answer remains elusive. In our society, masculinity often means strength, stoicism, and invulnerability. The expectation is that a man must always be strong, never showing weakness or frailty. But is this true strength? Or is it a facade, a mask that men wear to meet societal expectations? We are surrounded by these stereotypes, these unwritten rules that dictate how a man should behave, how he should feel, and how he should express himself. Imagine a man, let's call him Gentgrove, who has been living by these traditional norms. Gentgrove, like many men, finds himself trapped in these expectations, struggling to express his feelings and vulnerabilities. He is a prisoner of his own masculinity, confined by the societal notion that to be a man is to be void of weakness. Our story begins with Gentgrove, a man trapped within these societal norms, struggling to express himself. But what if strength is not about hiding our fears and emotions? Let's consider Gentgrove, a man who, like many, was shackled by the old-fashioned idea of masculinity. That strength meant being stoic, unfeeling, unyielding. But as Gentgrove journeyed through life, he began to question these outdated notions. He began to understand that true strength was not about putting on a brave face, but rather embracing his fears, his emotions, his vulnerabilities. He discovered that the ability to express himself, to admit when he was hurt or afraid, was not a sign of weakness, but of immense courage and strength. This transformation in Gentgrove's perspective was not overnight. It was a journey, a struggle, a battle within himself. But it was a battle worth fighting because it led him to a place of authenticity, of genuine strength. It led him to embrace his true masculinity. Gentgrove's journey led him to a new understanding of strength, one that is not afraid of vulnerability. So how can you reclaim your strength by embracing your true masculinity? Let's take a page out of Gentgrove's story. Gentgrove found his path by accepting himself, honoring his feelings and emotions, by breaking free from the shackles of societal norms. He realized that masculinity isn't about suppressing emotions, but about expressing them, about being true to oneself. And this is where you come in. It's time to redefine what strength and masculinity truly mean to you. It's time to break free from the pressures of society to reject the notion that vulnerability equals weakness. It's time to embrace your emotions, to accept yourself for who you are. The journey may not be easy, but know that with every step you're reclaiming your strength, you're embracing your true masculinity. You're not just forging a path for yourself, but for others who might be struggling with the same issues. Remember, true strength lies in embracing our masculinity, rejecting weakness, and allowing ourselves to be vulnerable. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay safe and keep groving, gents.